You know when you're standing in front of your closet feeling like you have a bunch of clothes but nothing to wear? We've all been there, right? So my goal with this video is to make sure that doesn't happen for you this season. Because look, the solution isn't dropping a ton of money for a few new trendy pieces and hoping that that will fix the problem. Today, I'm giving you the ultimate guide to spring style. No more guessing games, no more outdated looks. I want you to look back at this video later and remember this moment as the moment your style truly evolved to the next level. And I'm only gonna be happy with this video if you accomplish that, so let me get to work. And we'll start with tops. And as always, all the links to the items that I'm showing today will be in the description below. Specifically, I wanna start with polos. And you know, forget about all those preconceived notions that come with polos because they used to be seen as boring, right? They used to be seen as stuffy, but with the new styles you can get today, that's not the case anymore. Today's polos are modern, they're versatile, and honestly, anything but boring. Just look at this polo that I'm wearing right now. It's not really what comes to mind when you think of polos, right? You can get sweater polos, which are my current favorites. I really like this one here from Suit Supply. Very high quality, it's classy. I also like this pleated polo. It's from Abercrombie and it's affordable. Of course, the next level up would be from Issey Miyake, but that's gonna cost you a lot of money and I think it's overkill. You can even get crochet polos now. Mine is from King and Tuckfield. I got it on sale from Essence before my trip to Dubai. And honestly, I love it. It's a little oversized, which makes it casual. It makes it more fun to wear. And I always get compliments when I wear it. Suit Supply also has their version. It's not as relaxed of a fit as this one. So it's versatile. It's the perfect spring polo. Now, when you're choosing the right polo, just remember that there are different types to pick from. You can go with a button down, a spread collar, or even a contrast collar. You should also go for a long sleeve polo for those colder spring nights. I love this green one from Massimo Dutti. I also like this one here from Koss. And the beauty of these polos is that you can literally wear them with anything. We can pair them with tailored chinos for a smart casual look or denim for something more laid back. Now onto tees. Every man should have a variety of t-shirts. If you want something more relaxed and boxy, you can't go wrong with the unique low tees. And if you want more of a muscle fit, then you know that ATOS makes the perfect muscle tee that will last you forever. They're great for a more tailored look. I also recommend you grab a couple of graphic tees. I don't wear these a lot, but they do come in handy when you wanna throw on an easy outfit to run errands. Abercrombie has a ton of options and so does ASOS and they tend to be pretty affordable. Now the next item that I'd recommend for the perfect spring wardrobe is a camp collar shirt. And you can get them with a fun pattern for a casual spring vibe or a solid color. These are all from ATOS. Moving on to lightweight jackets. Now you really only need two. First, a lightweight workwear jacket. I got this one from Abercrombie. I love it. It's slightly cropped, so it makes my proportions look really good. And it's a nice layering piece. It doesn't make you overheat, but it adds a nice stylish touch to your look. I also recommend a casual bomber jacket. They're easy to style, they have more of that street style vibe, and you can wear them with a tee or even a hoodie underneath. A shirt that you keep coming back to in spring and summer is a linen shirt. Now I have them in all different colors. They're breathable, they're classy, you can dress them up or down, they're versatile, which is important, right? When you're buying new pieces for your wardrobe, you want to keep versatility in mind, Otherwise, you'll spend all your money on something and you won't even wear it a lot, which means it's probably not worth your money. Linen shirts are worth your money. The best layering piece that you can get this spring is a white ribbed tank top. I like wearing a tank because it lets me open up my shirts, get some airflow in those hot days, or I can button the shirt up and stay warm if it's colder outside. Plus, it looks a lot more interesting than wearing a shirt without it. Moving on to pants you'll need this spring, and we're gonna start with light wash denim. You can wear them with a t-shirt, a camp collar shirt, bomber jacket, I could go on for days. The point is, they're versatile. They should last for a while. And most importantly, they should fit you well. I recommend getting straight or tapered because if they're light wash and they're tight on you, it's gonna look bad. I'm telling you right now, do not go too tight or you will regret it. I've also been wearing these pleated pants so much lately. I'm so glad I got them. They're from Isamiyaki, but you can find dupes out there for more affordable brands. I like them because you can dress them up or down. I love them so much. I actually got them in black as well. They're lightweight, they're breezy, so you can wear them even in those hot summer days. I also recommend a pair of linen pants, especially if you're gonna be outside for a while. Linen, if you don't know, is one of the most breathable fabrics that you can find. So these are gonna keep you cool without the need to wear shorts 
shorts, which I know can be hard to style sometimes. I know you're gonna question me on this one, but believe me when I say that you should definitely get some white or cream trousers. Most guys are scared of wearing white trousers for some reason, but that just goes to show that if you wear them, you're gonna stand out. And you can go with something classy from Suit Supply or even denim as long as you're not too heavy. And if you wanna start with something lighter but not all the way white, you can go with a light gray, for example, and feel it out. I highly recommend you go with trousers that have that off-centered waistband closure for a really nice clean look. And they're a lot easier to style than most guys think. You can wear them with tees, polos, jackets, just trust me on this one. I've been doing this for a long time, like a really long time. Let's go over the best shoes and accessories for spring, but before that, let me just say that helping men like yourself unlock their full potential is my purpose. I want you to look your absolute best, and not in a superficial way. I actually want you to look your best so you can look in the mirror, or look at a photo that somebody took of you, and feel good about it, feel confident. Confidence creates momentum, which leads to growth, and that's the goal here. And if I've helped you grow in any way, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, which really helps me grow and reach more guys who would benefit from these videos. Moving on to footwear, I highly recommend you get a pair of clean sneakers with a classy aesthetic like these from Arnie. Now, these are amazing. I've been wearing these a lot lately. So many people ask me where I got them from, and you know what? I don't gatekeep the YouTube family, all right? I'm linking everything in the description of this video. New Balance also has a ton of stylish sneakers, like the 550s, which are great in all white, for example. I'm sure you've seen this before because they're really hot right now. Or the 9060s, which are more sporty, they're trendy. I see a lot of men and women wearing these. You can never go wrong with the tried and true classics that will never let you down. The Chuck 70 Plus, for example, they're very versatile. They can take a beating. You can wear them daily if you want to. And I like them because they have that platform sole. So for my short kings out there, these will give you that extra height boost, which is always nice. I'm not gonna lie, I used to hate on loafers. They just, they just didn't do it for me. Like I was just never into them until maybe last year, I decided to give them a proper shot and I'm all in now. Like I love wearing loafers and if you haven't tried wearing them, this is what I'm gonna say. Think of an outfit that you want to wear that would look good with loafers. Then get a pair of loafers that would look good with that outfit. And I recommend something versatile, easy to style, like these black loafers from Cole Haan or these suede ones from Suit Supply. I'm telling you, it just elevates your look, especially when the majority of men wear sneakers, right? Or maybe they even wear these leather shoes that, let's be honest, they're just not it. These are maybe for a boring office or a suit they will stand out a lot more. Again, I want you to leave this video feeling ready to step out of your comfort zone and to finally have that style that you've been craving and that you deserve. Don't just watch this video, you have to give these pieces a chance. That's the whole point. Now, there's a big mistake that most guys make in the warmer months of spring and summer, and this mistake makes you look way less stylish than you should. It's a missed opportunity and it happens for one reason. It's because when it's cold outside, you can layer up. Your outfit looks complete. Now, there's a lot of cool details in your outfit. There's different pieces working together, like a tee underneath a hoodie, under a bomber jacket. You have denim, you have sneakers. There's a lot of character, a lot to play with here. When it's warm, the last thing you wanna do is wear a t-shirt and jeans, or a polo and chinos, because that is boring. That's why you need accessories. They complete the look. Without accessories, your warm day outfits just don't look as good. That's why it's a missed opportunity. You don't need a ton of accessories. I actually recommend you follow the rule of three, which states that you should never wear more than three pieces of jewelry or accessories at once. For example, one watch, one necklace, one ring. That's enough. There's no need to go overboard or actually you end up looking like a tryhard. Do you know that I love my necklaces from Pira? They're great quality, they have a lot of meaning, which is a great conversation starter. When it comes to rings, check out Serge Denim. Their prices are accessible, they have a ton of styles, and the majority of my rings are from them. As for watches, you know that we can go deep right now. They go anywhere from 20 bucks all the way to literally millions of dollars for one watch. So. Let's keep it simple. I'm gonna recommend two different styles. First, something more casual, something that you can wear daily. Get a stainless steel diver watch, and I'm gonna give you three price tiers to make it very easy for you. First, the affordable Casio. It's a reputable brand. This watch is actually water resistant, up to 200 meters, and it's less than $70 right now. Next, this beautiful Tudor. It's automatic, 
It's versatile, I love the white dial, and it goes for about 1,750, so a big step up. And if you're really into watches and you want something that will last you forever, something that you can pass down to your kids, of course, a Rolex Submariner, which is a classic. It's one of the most popular luxury watches in the history of watches, and it goes for about 10 to $15,000, depending on the watch market. As much as I love the stainless steel watches, I've been wearing the crap out of my leather band watches. Like, I love this Cartier Tank Louis. Wear this all the time. It's pricey, but I do have a great alternative for you guys. And it looks so similar that it's actually hard to tell them apart if you're not into watches, of course. The Seiko Quartz white dial is less than $150 as opposed to 12 grand for the Cartier. It's the perfect watch for guys who want to look more stylish or guys who like that old money aesthetic. There's one thing that will bring all of this together. The last thing that you put on before you leave your place to go out and something that is incredibly important if you want people to remember you. A great spring fragrance makes all the difference and you should definitely go for something like the Forte series fragrance. Oh wait, I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to. Can you cut this out, editor? <clears throat> you should go for something fresh, something that embodies that fun spring vibe that we all look forward to every year. I really like Coach Green, Valentino Born in Roma, Creed Green Irish Tweed, Prada Luna Rosa Ocean, or Chanel Allure Ohm Sport O Extreme. You're gonna smell amazing wearing any of these, and you can find all of the links for everything in the description below. I'll see you next time.